Hey, Mark Meldrum, Meldrum's Monster Garage, and I just wanted to thank everybody, and yes, I'm on a ramble in this video. I wanna thank everybody for wishing me a happy 60th birthday. Thank you so much. Um, a lot has happened this past two weeks, and just to bring you up to speed, as you can see, we pulled the uh, 1972 454 out of my uh, convertible here, and we'll be going through a nice little uh, refresh on that motor and get everything tidied up and everything. But uh, to celebrate my 60th birthday has been kind of ho-hum. I did pick up a new job. So I am working for the Cleveland Guardians as an usher and ticket taker. So that's, I got to tell you, working in the major league, uh, baseball has been a dream job of mine forever. And uh, ever since I retired a couple years ago, I kept going down to the games and saying, I want to work there, I want to work there. And I got an opportunity to uh, uh, interview and, and get the job. So I spent this week learning the job, and that's a lot of reasons I didn't, uh, one of the reasons I didn't uh, show up on Meldrum's Monster Garage. I was down for the homestand. So it was great to get a couple wins, a couple losses. But the best thing was for my birthday, they beat those damn Yankees. So that was a great job. And I was, uh, I was working out in the uh, bullpen in uh, basically uh, right field. So I had a super time. The fans were great. A lot of Yankee fans, fun to razz them, had a great time. So uh, as I go into retirement here, we're working three jobs now. And so I'm getting busier and busier. You know, working over at Mike's Garage, uh, building that 59 Impala, and he's got a lot of cars in the uh, pipeline to work on, and then I'll, I'll, I'll have fun bringing you that. And uh, we're working at the coin shop with my son, uh, and that's, that's just a great experience. Love him to death and love all the things that's going on there with the owner, uh, Maroon, and working with Mike. And Logan's coming back to work on Monday, so I'm excited about that. So a lot of good things happening there. A lot of good things uh, happening here in Meldrum's Monster Garage. As you can see, working on the 72 Chevelle motor. Uh, getting back to the Guardians. I had a super first week down there. Um, my uh, trainer, Sue, uh, I told her it was my birthday today. And she got the whole, the whole gang of all the newbies together. And they sung happy birthday to me before the baseball game. So that was fantastic. Had a, had a great birthday today. On the unfortunate thing, my father-in-law passed away and he would have been 91 tomorrow. And it was so, so fun to share a birthday with him one day apart, uh, but it didn't make it to his 91st birthday. I did, we did have a 90th birthday party for him down in Florida uh, last year. And what, what a fantastic guy Bob Lynch was. He was a, a fantastic artist and Man, that guy could letter cars and trucks and pinstripe and make signs and uh, just unbelievably quick at what he did and do caricatures. He was an editorial cartoonist for the uh, Chronicle Telegram, which is our local uh, paper here in Elyria, Ohio, for years and years and years. Retired down to Florida and uh, just had a great retirement. Just a, a very personable people person. And as far as a volunteer goes, volunteerism, he was all about that. He was the governor of the Kiwanis for uh, a year and just always volunteered his time uh, to baseball and just, just a great role model as, a, as my father passed away when I was 20 years old and I had just started dating Patty and he was just a great role model and encouraged me to do a lot of uh, things early on in my life. I was in Grafton JC's, never followed his career path in Kiwanis, but uh, uh, had fun in JC's and I coached baseball just like he did and uh, did, just did a lot of things. Love basketball, love baseball. So he was always an inspiration to me and I, I will miss him dearly, miss him dearly. And uh, you know, my mother-in-law is not doing so great either. Uh, Janet. So uh, Patty took off to Florida yesterday. So I'm, I'm batching it here for the next three weeks as they figure out how to uh, care for mom down there. And hopefully everything goes all right there. 
So, oh my gosh. I knew my father-in-law would be super proud of me. I was able to see him about three weeks ago before he passed. And I told him, I didn't tell many people about my new job with the Guardians, but I did tell him and he was super excited. And uh, um, I, you know, even my dad was a huge baseball fan. Tell you a quick little story about my dad. Uh, you know, he was in the service in World War II and uh, getting shipped off to Germany to fight the uh, fight all the Germans and the Nazis. Um, and he loved baseball too. And he was playing baseball right before he was getting shipped off. And he was playing first base. And of course, they didn't have any mitts or anything. And he caught a ball, but he ended up breaking his pinky finger. And he wanted to go, he wanted to stay with all his guys. And uh, he didn't tell anybody about breaking his pinky finger. And he had a crooked finger his whole life. He would always hold up his pinky finger and, and talk about that. But at least that kept uh, him with his guys. And he was able to go over there with his crew uh, to Germany and uh, went all through Germany, France, England, um, and then on into Germany. So uh, Belgium, um, just super proud of my dad and super proud of my father-in-law. Uh, and and I, I miss both of them dearly as I, as I watch Abby. Abby come rolling in here. She's saying, what are you doing, dad? But hey, I wanted to thank you, all my 1,800 or so fans here on YouTube. And all my Facebook fans and Facebook friends and relatives, I wanted to thank you for wishing me a happy birthday today. I really super appreciate that. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be seeing you on the field. Come down and see me at the Guardians games. Go Guards!